me living in Korea and getting LASIK eye surgery in a foreign country and the experience has just been really, really great. Sirens and blue flashing lights In a thirty zone I'm pushing 95 Just trying to get to you in time Okay, so what I noticed is I didn't give a lot of information as far as the actual surgery. Um, I was more about the recovery process, which was really important to me because I wanted to know how long I would be out. It was a really quick process, so I want to say my appointment was at 9 o'clock and I was probably out about an hour later. So they, they do all the normal tests the morning of to make sure you're still good to go. You get to wear your normal street clothes, so I just wore something that was super comfortable. And they numbed my eyes, so it was just a series of drops that they put in your eyes to get them numb. They stick a needle in your eye. It's like the childhood saying of stick a noodle in your eye. It's like real life stuff coming to real life. I had to make sure that you truly are numb. Thank goodness I was numb. And then they bring you to a room, um, the machine is set up, and it's like the most advanced machine possible. You lay down on your back and they start prepping you. My number one concern was they have something that holds your eye open. So I get really weird if I think that I won't be able to blink. In a weird way, I feel like I thought I was gonna feel as if I was drowning. It, that might sound weird, but I thought I was gonna feel like I was drowning if I wasn't gonna be able to blink. You have to stare at a green light, and the green light during the process of the surgery, which lasts for 37 seconds on each eye, the green light just changes, and so for some people, I guess it goes away. It never went away for me. It just kind of changed shape. It got big, got small. The contraption on your eye keeps it open, but you still can go like, like that with your eye. So even though you're not fully closing your eye all the way, you still get that satisfaction of blinking. So as soon as I felt that I was able to do that, just sitting there for 37 seconds was not a big deal. And they count down for you so you know exactly how much time is left. And they moisturize your eye at the same time. So it's literally the most unpainful surgery. Not that I've had a lot of surgeries, but it's the most unpainful thing you could ever experience and so as soon as it started and then they went from one eye they covered it went to the next eye I was like oh like that's super easy that's it no nothing else nothing else so uh, as soon as that was done they sat me up and I immediately was able to see I was able to read the things that were on the walls I think they do that so that it shows how quick it is I mean things were blurry right but you could physically read things that were on the walls that I didn't even know was there because I'm freaking blind as a bat. And they take me to a room, uh, I got to recover for 20 minutes, and they, t they ask you what kind of music you want to listen to, and I picked western music. And I distinctly remember the first song that came on, uh, Justin Bieber, Love Yourself. And that's gonna forever stay with me as my LASIK eye surgery anthem is Justin Bieber, it's not weird. But yeah, there's they don't slice anything. They literally just keep your eye open and this laser just makes you have crazy clear vision. So there's no cutting, it's less evasive, it's just, it's one of the greatest things I think on earth. So I'm really glad that someone invented that laser because if there was ever an apocalypse and I ran out of contacts or my glasses broke, I would be useless. No one wants someone who's useless in an apocalypse of zombies. So, really glad that I got my eyes fixed. I hope that was helpful for everyone. Day three was the absolute worst for my eyes. It was the first day I had really gone outside of the house and done anything and we went to this art museum and all I wanted to do was just close my eyes. It was really heavy to keep my eyes open as if I took some sort of drowsiness medicine. So that was really weird. And then we went out to eat at a restaurant where the light was just kind of yellow. Again, all I wanted to do was close my eyes. It wasn't even really a tired feeling, it was just the weight of my eyes was just 
I just wanted to close them. Okay, so fast forward one week post-op surgery, follow-up visit, and they had to remove the bandages that were on my eyes, their contact bandages. A pair of tweezers, and for those of you who wear contacts, this is super weird, but he took a pair of tweezers, had me look into the little uh, contraption that they use to magnify your eye, and just picked off the contact lens with the tweezers, so somewhat thick for them to do that. So it felt like a little bit of a gritty feeling. Just immediately if that was normal and he said that it was and it would subside after a couple of minutes. It actually lasted maybe 20 minutes to, before it completely went away. Um, so now my eyes are completely naked. So, status of my vision as of right now. Things are pretty foggy still and whenever I try to look at things that are close up to my face or just close in general, it actually gets kind of blurry. Your cell phone, things like that, uh, it just, your eyes kind of get a little bit tired and I still dim the screen. All my computer screens are dimmed down to 0% right now. I want to see colors I've never seen before. I want to see all the shades of the rainbow and all the colors in between. Uh, driving at night is a little tricky, but it's still not bad. It's totally doable and I started driving after day four. Um, things are just glary. It just imagine a fog on your contact lens and you're just kind of blinking to get it to go away, but you can still function. The positives are definitely outweighing any kind of negatives. I'm not even sure what the negatives are. I also was able to start wearing a little bit of basic makeup foundation, but no eye makeup on day four, so that was nice. And I'm actually gonna try and go to the gym today because I've been getting my steps in, but you can't sweat until one week after surgery, so today is one week. And I actually have a 10K race this Sunday, so I'm really hoping that I don't really jack up my eyes and get too much sweat in them. I'm gonna have to get one of those Richard Simmons headbands in order to prevent sweat from getting into my eyes. What I also wanna mention is that because it's really hard to see details up close, you got pesto on that tooth, that's gonna stay there because you're not gonna see it there. You might think that it's fine, but no, there's pesto in your teeth because your eyes can't focus in on it. And you just gotta hope that your friends are gonna be nice and let you know that you got pesto in your teeth. Pretty sure that happened to me last night. Sorry to my friends. We're not sorry for not telling me. Now two weeks since my surgery and I feel really great, although today I feel kind of lethargic, but I don't know if that's just because I haven't been getting as much sleep as I probably should be. But as far as my eyes go, I can see pretty clear. Uh, I still have weird times where I wanna like defocus my eyes. My, my eyes wanna go cross-eyed because I'm just too lazy to see. I do notice when I try to focus on something, uh, it'll have a, a spurt where it goes blurry and then it clears up and then it goes blurry and then it clears up. It's really weird. It's like my eyes are still trying to figure out it's a new set of training wheels or something. Still taking drops. I am still dropping freaking my artificial tears like my life depends on it right now. Started taking this liposec. You can see that there, liposec. And it is a form, it's all in Korean, but I had to look it up, of artificial tears that has three sets of layers that is most like our aqueducts in our eyes. I think they're aqu or maybe they're called eye ducts. Aqueducts. I don't know. I don't think there's anything Greek about it. But it's the only thing that has these three layers of artificial types of tears that our eye naturally makes and uh, you put it in at night. Tiny little amount on there. It's really tricky and then you pull it down and then you like throw it in there and then close your eye and kind of let it lather all up in there and then I try to go to sleep pretty soon thereafter just so it can my eyes can soak up as much of the liquid as possible especially these last few days it's gotten a lot better I feel like it was in the mornings taking me up to two three hours for my eyes to finally adjust and uh, not be as foggy it's coming along coming coming along 
come a come a come a come a come a chameleon. Nothing to do with Boy George. I'm at week three and my doctor said that I am looking great and I actually have 2020 vision already. What? So I'm actually ahead of schedule, uh, which is really good because I was kind of concerned because of the amount of time I spend in front of a computer and my cell phone. I keep taking eye breaks whenever I do feel a little tired in my eyes, but there's one thing that I do want to highlight that I didn't know prior to doing the surgery and I just found out about it two days ago. Let me just introduce to you my little puppy, Coconut. Coconut, say hello to the camera. Say hello right there to the camera. See, she knows, she knows the camera. You can continue on me. Oh, crap, it's really bad for her to jump off the bed, but do you want back up? I'll put you back, okay, I'll put you back up. Okay, anyways, so the one thing that I just found out about that I didn't know prior to getting LASIK surgery is the fact that uh, I actually had spectacular vision up close. So my nearsightedness was phenomenal. I could see the smallest little details, the tiniest little threads. My eyesight was that good. Far, not so good. Near Spider-Man vision. But now I actually can't see anything that is clear more than this close to my face. So if you can tell anything that is this far away or this close I should say starts to get blurry. What? What? So I brought this up to uh, my consultant and let her know that I was having issues with seeing close and she did say that this was going to get better over time but that my nearsightedness was actually not going to be the same as before my surgery. Just a word to the wise, if you deal with I don't know, major attention to detail as far as your jobs go, your hobbies go, just know that anything that is going to be, requires you to see things close up, you're gonna have major, major issues. So that is something that I am having to deal with and kind of adjust to. She did say it's gonna get better, so I'm really hoping that it'll get better. Uh, but I just have this feeling that it's n it's not going to be the same. If you're deciding on this, you're not going to see things up close compared to what you were used to. I'm able to wear a full face of makeup. I just have to be a little careful because my cornea is still healing, uh, which is what they said at my last appointment, but I'm still on schedule. So when I'm putting on eye makeup, I'm just trying to be a little careful and not rub, rub, rub. Uh, and rub off any, you know, healing that is supposed to continue on. Uh, and also I still continue to try and lay on my back as much as possible at night so that I don't squish my face against the pillow and do some awkward damage. It's week four. And so that means I'm one month post-operation for my LASIK surgery. Uh, Feeling great. I mean, honestly, every day keeps getting better and better. I still wake up with pretty dry eyes, but it's still doable. I'm not necessarily always reaching for my eye drops first thing, uh, but I still have to take the anti-inflammatories. I regularly keep my eyes pretty hydrated. Glare is still a little bit there, but honestly, it's such a weird feeling to know I can see really great just spectacular without any glasses, any contacts. It's just so nice. At night, I still feel like I need to take them out because I can see. In the mornings, I still feel like I need to reach for my glasses because, well, one, it's still a little blurry in the mornings, but it's just such a natural reaction that I've had for the last, I don't even know, for a decade, uh, more, more than that. I don't want to say too much because then you might figure out my age. I'm just so happy I've done the surgery. So I'm back here at the Dream Eye Center for my three month checkup. But after the first month, you come back every month for up to, I wanna say six months, and all of it is included in your initial payment. Use the eye drops regularly uh, for three times a day from now. Your eye stays very good. 
Uh, you can enjoy any kind of still right eye. Very good. Uh, okay, before surgery, you have a very poor vision, so, but now you have a great vision. Yes. Okay, and reason to receive the surgery of you uh, to get the upgraded life. Yes. Okay, yeah. The yeah, best I, kind of life. <laughs> okay, so I'm very happy to give you the new new side. Yes. Okay, very Thank good. You. Yeah, see you. you again. Okay, okay, Thank bye bye. You. Yeah. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment below. I will be more than happy to answer it. So thanks. Be sure to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. So it lets me know if you like the video. Maybe you don't like it. I hope to hear from you guys. Thank you.